hi everyone welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here my name is Chichi I'm a Nigerian and I live in the Netherlands today I'm going to share with you the massive culture shock I had when I moved here to the Netherlands so sit tight relax and let's get into it my number one culture shock I had when I newly moved here or oh, I still have it's how direct the Dutch people can be it's quite obvious that the Dutch people are blunt and direct they say it's the way it is there is no sugar coating in whatever they say they don't say it um, to be mean I think not that I think from what I've experienced, it's just their way of life. It's just the Dutch people's way of, um, the way they talk or the way they, they, their way of life, you know, coming from Africa, Nigeria, precisely. In Nigeria, people tend to go in a circle when they are talking, like a bit around the bush, sometimes before they can actually speak say exactly what they are what they want to say and you can find that um if you're from that kind of environment and you come or you move to the netherlands or you approach a, a dutch person for the first time you can find that a little bit off like oh why is he so direct is he being mean you you might think the dutch person is being mean but in actual sense that's their way of life. That's the, that's the way. There's no beating around the bush with the Dutch person. When I meet, what I mean by that is, um, sometimes my friends might just say something. You know, you ask them questions. They just give you the answer. Okay, let's let me take it for it. Uh, for instance, when I wanted to start my channel, I I had some difficulties which i still do have some difficulties trying to figure out how youtube works and there and there and then i i asked my partner and he was like he doesn't know um actually but he just said yeah i think you will figure it out you know but if he's um maybe in nigeria if i had asked someone or something the person might either say oh have you asked this person or maybe i know someone or something i don't know it's it they're they they are quick to not they are quick they are ways of being direct can come off a bit being harsh or mean but they are not when when you come to think of it and i actually like it tell me what it is in as much as it's gonna hurt me or sometimes i feel bad but yeah why waste my time that's how dutch people see it why waste um, my time when you can actually tell me something or when i can actually say it and they don't even think about what they say but someone me being a nigerian or coming from nigeria i felt a certain way or you will feel a certain way when you when you encounter a dutch person and how dutch people and their directness can be um, you know and yeah I found that very strange when I first moved in here but um, at some point I came to accept it but it's still some sometimes I still find myself struggling with it sometimes it can be mean sometimes it can be okay yeah so that brings me to my next um, point the the lack of service culture of the dutch people it's quite appalling if i may say that a good example is sometimes you go to the salon maybe you see at the at the salon um board they said they do all kinds of hair afro you name it or whatever um coily hair um european hair and then you walk in there maybe you meet a staff and the staff says oh I don't know it we don't do it but it's not that they don't do it but because they don't even want to touch your the texture of your hair first to know if they don't do it or she, he or she does just doesn't want to even try 
in Nigeria, you walk into a salon where, where they've already put on their um, sign that they do all kinds of hair, either coily or, or whatever, hair style or whatever. You walk in there and they will tell you, okay, let me actually see. Do you, even if they didn't understand exactly what you want to do, they'll ask you, can I see the style? Let me see. Or maybe this is another type of things we do. But they will not do it here. I remember going to a salon one time and then I walk in there, I told them I want to have uh, my uh, my wig because then I, I, did, I think I did, um, I was on wig. Oh, I had wig extensions on and then I wanted them to coil the extensions to, you know, I was going for a wedding. I wanted the extensions to be coiled and styled well. And then I walk in there. Oh, this was like, I don't know. I don't know. But I know what extension is, but I don't know what to do. But I looked at her and said, but this is exactly what I'm talking about. What you have on your hair. She just says, we don't do it or they don't do it. Then luckily for me, I walked into another salon and then there was a, a girl who could actually say, yeah, I can do that because... Um, I thong others their extensions so I can I can try I can do that I said okay so she actually saved me that day in Nigeria they will they will try before you even say no I don't do it or we don't do it or let me even see what what you mean or what you're looking for and uh, Dutch people they they they, they lack of um, um, service culture here it's um it was it was quite shocking sometimes when you hear you 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 make an order you see that everything is like they they look i think it's because they look at their time as time is money or something like that i don't know if they that's actually the way they look at it but they don't really is a do it yourself kind of culture you know uh or do you so that service culture that um some in some places like in Nigeria, people are used to, they don't do it here. And I was kind of used to that before I came here. So it was quite shocking to me that um, it was different from maybe other places. Because I also know if, um, in, in the United States, you can get things done and you know and you get paid for it or something like that but here the there is it is on a different level or different aspect how they look at the service culture in this country and then this brings me to the cleanliness and the gardening culture of the dutch people when i came here it was huge for me um not like it was huge it was a shock for me how clean everywhere is and how organized how clean people tend to keep their surroundings or you would think that same um, oyibos they don't have time that much but no it's a, it's, it's the, the days that are for trash you go out if except if a neighbor does not have any trash to put out but if they do it in a nice way they, they the streets are clean the roads are clean and i was like wow you don't even see dirt everywhere people don't just litter the place and when you litter something you pick it up you see people walking with their dogs walking their dogs and they have their nylon bags with them so that when their their dogs poop they will pick them up because you don't want to um you don't want to just mess the the area or the common area even if it's the common area even if it's your own surroundings you know they tend to keep the, the cleanliness of this the, the of this country the, the cleanliness culture is it's quite good it's it's it blew me it, it shocked me because their cleanliness is different it's on a different level you know and then you see that every day you see People doing their gardening you mean you're walking on the street I enjoy walking on the street or going somewhere and I'm looking at people doing actually doing their gardening I know about gardening before but yes I'm not mass I'm not good at gardening but I love seeing well-maintained gardens and when I see Dutch people the way they attend to their garden they they actually attend to it as is their hobby it makes them happy you see old people or young or, or picking up dirt from their garden in the morning or afternoon you know it, it's just so beautiful to see and I want I wondered like how come you know but it, I, I get it is it is it it's a it's a culture thing or at the same time, it's not everybody that, that loves gardening here, but they also love to have gardens because 
I have neighbors whom they don't know how to attend to their garden, but their garden is always well maintained, which means they pay for it or their one of one partner also knows how to do it. But I don't know how to do garden and I love seeing it. I, I, w I want to learn, but it was quite shocking to me because that's not what I, um, I, I didn't know about that before I moved here I, in Nigeria. It's not a thing. So coming here, experiencing that firsthand, I was shocked. I was shocked at how you will see people every morning, evening, or sometimes you're taking a stroll. Someone is just picking, picking out dirt um, from their garden or they're just cutting the trees, which is so, it's quite different. And uh, yeah, that shocked me. And then this now brings me to another point where how the, the cleanliness of the Dutch people did not actually get to their hygiene, body hygiene. Mm -mm. A Dutch person can actually go to work Monday to Friday or Monday to Wednesday, say Monday to Wednesday, wearing the same shirt, be it a man or a woman, they wear the same thing and go to work and they don't, they don't care. Not that they don't care, but they don't see it as being dirty. But in Nigeria where maybe I'll go to work a, today with this shirt, I'm not going to go to work tomorrow with this shirt. I don't know. Yeah. No matter how poor, I may be, I will not go to work with that same shirt the next day, you know, because I wore it on Monday. I'm not going to wear it on Tuesday or or Wednesday, something like that. I, it was quite shocking to me when I, I moved here and I see colleagues come to work or people go to work with the same clothes three days on a row. And then I asked myself, but these are the people that are every minute cleaning their streets or every minute cleaning their garden how come they don't think about cleaning their body like that you know but it does it make them dirty no but it, i think it's something that they don't really care they just look at it as just it's okay it's a t-shirt i take my bath and i dress up maybe they change their the inner ones <laughs> i don't know but i think they do so they don't get me wrong, they do, but what I'm talking about is the shirts. The, the body hygiene is different. They don't look at it that way, the same way as they are. Um, they look at their cleaning the, um, the street or their garden or, or keeping out, taking out their trashes in different, um, um, in, in different order where it belongs. The body hygiene, it's different for a Dutch person, yes. And um, that brings me to another massive shock I had was the medicine, how they practice medicine here in the Netherlands. I don't mean um, the medicine in, as in being in a medical field or in a hosp working in the hospital, no. As in how when you are sick, you go to, you go and get a paras, go to hospital and then um, you go to hospital and then um, you get attended to, no. Yes, I have experienced them um, going to the GP in England because I, um, because I've been to England and I've lived there a while. So you can go to, you call your GP and then your GP here, here in the Netherlands. It's quite different that you will call a GP and then maybe the GP will ask you what, what, it, what are your symptoms or something like that. And then the GP will tell you, oh, go home and take aspirin. That's if they even tell you to go home and take aspirin. Sometimes they will tell you to um, go home and, and seek it out. Even my, my partner says this because even I haven't spent six years here, I'm still struggling with this. Sometimes I have body ache or um, um, I'm having headache and I'll say, oh, I need to take um, paracetamol. My partner will say, what do you mean? Just sleep it over. It's nothing. You don't have to take aspirin. So in Nigeria, the people tend to practice what is um, what you will see as um, preventive um medication while in the dutch people they they practice what i think is reactive medication because they don't just give you medicine you don't just get medicine medicine me, me, uh, medicine all the time or just take no in nigeria you can even go to the pharmacy people practice self-medication in nigeria do or does it make it right no does it make it um, um, worse? I don't know. It yeah, it could be worse because you don't. Sometimes you need to know what you're medicating yourself for before you start taking a medication. You need to know the right medication that you also want to take. I'm not saying the people where they buy the medicines don't know. Some of them are qualified places. 
they, they're at qualified places, they do know. But I think the Dutch way they're doing it, it's, it's quite good because you need to be sure that that headache you're having requires taking a medication or you need to be sure that um, um, that fever requires taking a medication. There's something called mild cold, which will just go after a few days. All you need is maybe hydrate and enough rest and you will feel better than just going to take um, how people take antibiotics in Nigeria or how they could just prescribe antibiotics every now and then for people in Nigeria. And then that could lead to something. Here in the Netherlands, uh, my partner will say, the more you, you know, sometimes when you take medications, at some point, your body will stop working because it's not even responding to the, when it needs the medication, it doesn't now respond to it. And it's funny because um, you go to GP, before GP will send you to doctor, there, there, there must be something, really, that thing must require urgent attention. And once you are sent to the hospital to see a doctor, they treat it, with strict instructions and attentiveness you see that that's that's the dutch culture that's the dutch way they do it and it was quite shocking for me it, it was it was not easy for me to adapt to uh, get understand it but now now that i have lived here and then um, having experienced it and understand the um, the science or the reasons behind it, it makes actually makes sense that way, um, if I may say. So it actually makes sense. Um, but it was quite shocking for someone who can take pop medication at any time they are sick. Oh, paracetamol. Oh, I need to go to the pharmacy. Another. Then maybe you can even go to the pharmacy here and the pharmacy will just, you will just get... Um, over the counter medication like it is in the in the United States and in Nigeria uh, where you can just go to the pharmacy get any medication that you want not a, uh, not all medications but just get some medications that you want or you can just take medication at any time um, self medication at any time antibiotics and all that it was quite challenging when I first moved here that every little thing even aspirin is, it's very difficult for them to resp um, tell you to take aspirin too. Um, yeah, if it's when you insist, sometimes they will tell you to, you can get, you can take aspirin and, and go home and sleep. But yeah, so yeah, these are few things that shocked me when I moved here newly in the Netherlands. And um, I'm curious, what do you think? Are there any foreigner out there? watching this video what do you think um and are there any dutch person out there watching this video i'm curious what do you think with these few things i've said here tell me what you think what would you like me to also share with you guys next time and um yeah i think i've talked too much so thank you for watching this video and feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section until next time thank you and bye bye